That's nothing. That's, I mean, what's no, the point no, of banning them like that? No, no, $250 is the minimum oh, that I you see. can get. 5000 oh. is the maximum, and that's what he's probably looking at for each bylaw violation. I saw that fine violation. listed in the news story, and I thought, that's a slap in the wrist. That's nothing. So what happens to this guy? This guy here will stay at the zoo. We have another one at the zoo now that's about eight feet, eight or nine feet long. That's about 200 pounds. That was also an expat. All the alligators and crocodiles at our zoo Don't are expats or have come to us in that manner. Yeah, so what else have you got here? Anyway. What, where is the saw-scaled viper, by the way, just so the I know? The saw-scaled viper is in quarantine at the Indian River Reptile Zoo. And it's now been confiscated by the city of Toronto. So they're making a decision on what will happen with it. Until then, it will stay in quarantine yeah. at the zoo. Reptiles carry a lot of diseases, not to people necessarily, but to other reptiles, so they have to be quarantined for a certain length of time. Mm -hmm. So even if the saw-scale viper were to stay at the Indian River Reptile Zoo, it would have to be quarantined anywhere between three months to a year. So it doesn't have any viruses to give to our other reptiles. And who can it hang out with, though? With all the other ones that yeah. were in his closet. <laughs> so what do you think should be done, you know, concerning reptiles, particularly dangerous ones? I think in rural areas, so when you ban things, people, if they want to keep reptiles, they're going to keep reptiles. And there's a lot of reptiles out there now. So I think in rural areas, if they had a permit system where they made it safe and secure, and the fire department would know, the police would know, I think we'd be getting somewhere. But just banning things, uh, look at the city bylaw now, and it, and it hasn't helped. It means nothing. Who's this guy? This is a northern pine snake, and these make fairly good pets for people that want a pet snake. A lot of people have allergies to mm -hmm. fur and feathers, so they mm -hmm. can't have a, a dog or a bird. So reptiles are the next option because no one's allergic to reptiles. Yeah. Now they don't love you back like a cat or dog does. That's the only <laughs> problem with reptiles. And who's in the cage? The front one there. Now that's a reptile that you can't have. That one is protected by the, the Ontario government or the Ministry of Natural Resources. Yeah. If you're caught killing this snake in the wild now, you can be, you can be fined $25,000 and a year in jail.